G'day guys, do you want your sensory bags to last longer? Do you want them to be leak proof? Because in today's video, that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. And then I'm gonna share with you some activities you can do with babies, toddlers, and preschoolers at the end. So stick around for that as well. This here is when I was gonna hold up the one that I made before Christmas for my son. So over six months old, but it's in his room at the moment and he's having his lunchtime nap. So I will have to put an image overlay here so you know what I mean. So it, this one here has got water and then some sequins and Merry Christmas. And so when he was doing his tummy time, he used to play with that and he'd also pick it up. The other awesome thing about it is my daughter has jumped on it and it hasn't burst. So these are so, so strong. So first off, I'm just bringing you into my laundry and I'll show you what I've got here. So I'm using glitter as well as food dye. I really like this food dye because it just comes with a simple dropper and it's got those four different colors. So you can mix and match and color mix until you get the colors you want. The key for making sensory bags that last is using laminating pouches. So this one here is the one I'm using this time. Um, I've used other ones as well. It doesn't really matter in my opinion, which laminating pouch I use. Um, they've both worked and they've both been able to sustain my three-year-old jumping on them. And then lastly is a hair straightener. So this is my GHD hair straightener. Once again, you just need a hair straightener. You don't need this particular brand. And lastly, in this yogurt container, I've got some water. So first off, what I'm gonna do is just pull out that laminating pouch and make sure I check the ends so that I don't seal the open end. So I'm checking that out and then I'm shutting it up again, grabbing the hair straightener and just going along one side. Now, sometimes I pull it across it Sometimes I pull it down. Honestly, I haven't noticed a difference whichever way I do it. Um, and then I'm gonna do it at the bottom as well and just give it a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna go over to the other side. And as you can see, I'm coming up right near the top and that's fine, that'll still work out well. And then I'm going back to the first bit that I started and going over that again. Then I decided to move the hair straightener out of the way and just turn it off at the wall before I poured in the water. Now I've got a little, you can see the amount of water I've got here, just a little bit. I often will put more than that, but today I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna add in some glitter. So I'm gonna use some red glitter and some red food dye and give that a little bit of a mix before getting out as much of the air as I can and then sealing the sides at the very top and then the top. And that's it. If I wasn't filming that, it would be a lot quicker. <laughs> so it'll take you a couple of minutes to do it and that's it. So like I said, there's so many different variations of this you can use. I'm using water. If you wanna slow down the liquid inside, then you could try hair gel. Okay, this one on my computer is exactly two minutes. So from beginning to end, all it took was two minutes to do this. So I did the same, I sealed each side. And then this one I decided to do green because I wanna use it for some writing task later on. So I just did a light green. I probably even could have added a little bit more in the end, but this still worked really well for the activity I had in mind. Um, and then poured in the water, added in the food dye, got as much of the air out as I could. Um, and it doesn't matter, you can leave a bit of air in there as well, but I certainly don't leave a lot. Um, and then I sealed up the top and there it is, it's all done. I ended up doing three, so the third one I didn't film, but I just repeated the same steps as I had for the first two. And this one I added in some pom-poms as well as googly eyes. And then I took it out to show the kids and as you can see, they're standing on it, they're playing with it. My daughter is jumping on them. She's around 15 kilos, so they are really strong. 
I step on them as well and they haven't broken and I'm a lot more than 15 kilos. <laughs> but we won't get into my exact weight, I don't think. The other cool thing to do with this is to do some color sorting. So you can put the color beads in there and even some hair gel and then put circles so that they put the color beads into each colored circle. But like I said, the thing I love about this is it is so strong. All my other sensory bags I've ever done just eventually leak, whereas these do not. So just to summarize, using these for babies for tummy time, for sitting, as a sensory activity, and then for toddlers, it's jumping on it, another sensory activity, so standing on it, walking on it. And then for a preschooler right here underneath, I've just got a piece of cardboard with her name written on it, and then contact over the top so that it's reusable. And with that, what she normally uses is a whiteboard marker to write on it. But today I'm just getting her finger to trace her name through the sensory bag. Before you go, I've got some other videos that might help you in this parenting journey and entertaining your kids. So here I've got some summer activities. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and enjoying summer, we are currently in winter and it is just cold. Um, I wish I was able to do those activities at the moment. I've been modifying a little bit and doing some activities with warm water just because my kids love Order play. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.